A nail-biting return of a cup full of asteroid unfolded over the Utah desert today in the skies of San Francisco this morning. It was the latest stop for a seven-year mission to try to find out where it all began. First, though, it had to land. What left Earth seven years ago in a blazing liftoff has entered the Earth's atmosphere. came home today after a billion miles in space. And here we go. A half-pound sample of an oddball asteroid carried back to Earth, released from the OSIRIS-REx spacecraft, was plummeting to Earth at 7.42 a.m. this morning. At this point, we have entered in over San Francisco, California, and are very quickly going to be approaching the Utah Test and Training Range just a little bit further to the east. SRC is experiencing maximum heating and maximum deceleration. With the probe dropping from space to desert floor, it was scorched by 5,000-degree temperatures as it reached a speed of 27,000 miles an hour until... SRC commands drogue parachute deploy. Wonderful to see that deployment. The sample canister slowed to 11 miles an hour. And the probe, after being on the other side of the solar system a few years ago, dropped right on target. Touchdown. I repeat, DDL. SRC has touched down. This is the team at Lockheed celebrating that momentous achievement. From there, the sample canister, about the size of a tire, was approached very carefully. From day one, this mission has paid attention to keeping that sample pristine. It was packed up and lifted by chopper a short distance away to a temporary location on the Utah Test and Training Range, where, inside this building, it was carefully unpacked by experts and wheeled into a temporary clean room, marking America's first sample return mission of its kind and opening a time capsule to our ancient solar system. It's going to sit there overnight, then they're going to fly to Johnson Space Center tomorrow, and then it'll be distributed eventually to researchers part of the sample. Hmm. First, they have to see how much they got. It'll be distributed to researchers around the world, and a lot of it they're going to just hang on to for decades. Interesting. So when do you think we'll start kind of learning more information? About <laughs> That's a good question. How long does it take the researchers to first bid for a part of that and then to do their research and come up with something? A couple of years.